Good evening to everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, Ms. Garcia and Ms. Galdames and Mr. Mendoza. Um, welcome. Good okay, good evening, sir. Uh, welcome. So, as you know, we're going to be working uh, this night on the um, some expressions that we uh, used to have in English. Uh, if you have checked the platform, if you have checked the topics that we have there, uh, we're not fine. Um, in the um, in the topic uh, four point four, um, the the information that is related to uh, expressions uh, related to sleep. Okay, so that's what we're going to be discussing tonight: expressions related to sleep. Uh, we're going to watch a video and we're going to be solving some exercises um, related to it, and also we're going to be checking some uh, of the exercise two of the of this platform. Um, let me show you first because we're going to start with it. Uh, let me show you the, the video. We're going to watch the video. Um, just give me a second. Okay, here we have. Can you, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, it. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to share right now a, this video. So I'm going to play it right now. And please pay attention to it because uh, we're going to be uh, basing this class on this video to, tonight. And we're going to see some extra information that I will give you. Hi, what are your sleeping habits? We'll teach you some expressions about sleep. Expressions related to sleep. Be fast asleep. Be sound asleep. Be wide awake. Drift off. Feel drowsy. Have a sleepless night. Not off. Sleep like a log. Take a power nap. Toss and turn. We want you to write the following categories on your notebook. Number one, having trouble sleeping. Number two, falling asleep. Number three, sleeping a short time. Number four, sleeping deeply. Put the expressions just learned about sleep in the right columns. Then compare your answers with a partner in class. Okay, um, here we have some of these uh, well, some of the time expressions for sleeping uh, or to sleep that we used to, to use in our daily life. Have you ever uh, used any of it? Have you ever used any of it? Yes, for example, fell asleep. Uh, which one? Fell asleep. Okay, be asleep. Okay. Um, someone else? Yeah, uh, sleep like a log. Oh, very good. It's, it's sleep like a log. Very good. Um, any other one? Just take, take a nap. No. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, any other one? Any other expression? The, oh, well, I'm going to ask you something. Do you know any other expression? Uh, so, sorry, because I have some around me. Give me a second. Okay, so um, I was asking you, do you know any other expression related to sleep that it haven't been listed here in this uh, in this chart. Do you know any other one? Any other expression? Maybe you have used with someone.
for example. I, re I remember sometimes the list and yeah, sleep tight. Okay, very good. That's a good one. Uh, I, I saw, I listened to someone else. Sleep. Sorry, what do you say? Oversleep. Okay, very good. So, uh, and there are a lot of uh, expressions related to these. There are a lot of expressions. Um, uh, I remember one of them that is like, uh, have a nice night. Okay, have a nice night. That, that's a, that's a, an expression too. Um, well, in, in expressions like this, um, we are going to find a more than, than, than the one that we have listed here. So what are we going to do with this? Um, well, we're going to do um, a role play. It's like, um, it's like a role play, it's a, a dialogue that we're going to be developing tonight. And it's going to be in pair. Uh, you are going to um, use some of these uh, expressions uh, related to sleep. And if you find any other one, you can use it too. But we're going to use these ones in a conversation. Um, I'm going to create uh, uh, the pairs here in the breakout rooms, and you are going to work on it. Uh, later on, you're going to be um, you're going to be um, participating in the general video conference, and um, each of you. Well, give me a second. I'm just trying to do something. Okay, and each of you um, are going to present your conversation. Uh, is it clear, the instruction? Go to the breakout rooms, create your own dialogue, and um, you decide the topic. Okay, doesn't matter what you talk about. But the thing that we have to include is those, uh, those expressions, those expressions that are related to a uh, slave. So later on, you're going to uh, be back in the general video conference and you're going to participate with your partner. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. So? Yes, it's clear. Okay, very good, excellent. So uh, go to the very good room right now. Okay, there you have. So please uh, join to the breakout rooms, and I will be visiting you in each. Room. Hi, can you hear me? Uh, hello. <laughs> you are, how do you say your name? It's in my name. It's, it's my name name. So I my name know. is Isaac. Oh, Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. I'm Maria Isaac. <laughs> Glad to meet you, Maria. Nice to meet you too. So, what are we talking about today? Well, actually, the 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 the, the few things I, I I could hear you was uh, we have to to make a dialogue or mm -hmm. a story or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with uh, some phrases that actually I saw some of them in, in my screen. So, related mm -hmm. with. Uh, Get down. So related with uh, sleep or I'm wrong? Okay. So well, well, what will we we talking about? 
uh, our dialogue. Well, actually, I, I can see, I can see something like a power nap, and actually, I need a, uh -huh. a nap because I, I feel drowsy, right? So that it, it's really true, but at the same time, um, there are some some of the phrases that I I I, I can see on my screen, right? A power nap, uh, I feel drowsy, and I can't I can't remember uh all the one uh, i don't know if you can uh, i took i took some notes i have the uh, how can i send you some picture or do you have it on the platform i don't know uh, i well, have I... Be, be wide awake have a sleep nine toss and turn drip off i don't know yeah, well, actually, let me let me see my my on my on my laptop uh, the platform. So this is a uh, may I roam? It's uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay. Let me check. Let me check. Low system resources may affect your own. Hello. Oh, sorry. Uh, here I am. Uh, uh, bison, like a bison at left, the way I wait, big dog, feel dropsy at a at night. The ah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I, today I've it been... was the problem. Uh, no, the thing is that this, the, the, the day before, I've been uh, very busy. I have uh, a lot of things to do. So I, I couldn't go to sleep because I had to complete uh, several tasks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. No, I really don't have problems sleeping these days. I'm not very busy oh, very good. <laughs> like you. <laughs> Yeah, very good. <laughs> and what's not off? Um, not off? It could be like you feel sleepy. Or, or, <laughs> or you can ask the teacher, teacher, what is the meaning of not off? I guess a teacher is not listening us. <laughs> I don't know. Well, <laughs> maybe. Uh, uh, yes, I can hear you. So I forgot that I was muted. Well, what's your okay. question, sir? No, uh, because uh, Rafael was uh, helping me. The meaning of uh, some of the expressions. So I was asking to him uh, the meaning of not off. No enough. Um, which one? Ah, not off. Not, not you off. Need, you need uh -huh. oh, okay. Not uh, not off means like um well like uh, uh nap something like that. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Not off. Or um could be like um. Yes, it's like like uh, like go to sleep or or uh, get a sleep, something like that. It like uh, uh, have a nap, something something related to that. In Spanish, it's like like um in Spanish it's like uh, quedarse dormido. Okay, suddenly if if you if you get to sleep suddenly. Yes. Okay, so I I was a. Uh, uh, telling uh, Rafael that these days I, I, I've been very busy, so uh, at night I I uh, didn't uh, have the the time to, to sleep enough, so I I've been sleeping around four hours only, and when I was uh, when when I was uh, at the office, 
uh, sometimes I was a, I was a wishing to have the time to to that tonight and and come to, and sleep like a log, for example. And when I was driving, I I was a little worried because I I was getting so sometimes I I was uh, feeling drowsy. Uh, I was worried uh, about uh, I could. Uh, get a sleep in oh, the car. Really, that that's dangerous. So, because um, I think that you well, every people, somebody, if if you have a job and you have a lot of things to do, and uh, and well, we understand that. But it's necessary for us to have a or to sleep well. Okay, that's something yeah. important. And, and you have to try to do that because it, firstly, because of your health, okay? Um, the, the first yeah, thing yeah. that you have to put in, in, in your life is your health. Um, and the second one, so you must uh, be care about all the things that happen around you and, and with your family and with your friends and, and uh, I think that when you rest well, when you um, sleep well, um, you will be like more happy, more motivated to do the things than uh, being like like stress or or tired sometimes because of that reason. Um, so that's that's something that we can take that as an advice uh, because I, I consider so in my case I have a lot of things to do too. But I consider that a, a sleep, it's going to be first than whatever thing. Yeah, thank you. You're, you're right. Uh, some days ago, I, I was watching a, mm -hmm. a video about that, about mm -hmm. the, the, the health that, that we uh, gain when we sleep properly. Yes, that's that's true. Yes, and there are a lot of a lot of information about it you can find. And, and also, if you can um you can manage your time too because you can uh, set a, like a specific time for each of the things that you have to do. That's mean that you won't get compromised with your uh, job or, or or with your boss. Um, but the thing is, you have to manage that. Or, or you have to set time for specific for specific things. Time for your family, time for uh, other things like you have to do. So, and, and remember to enjoy uh, every time of, of your life because you have, you need time for, for it too, okay? So, um, well, in, in the case of the activity that we're going to be developing, uh, we're going to create a dialogue. In the dialogue, you are going to uh, develop it in the video in the general video conference so i will leave you working on it right now and i'm going to visit a, a different group please um if you can take notes of your conversations who's going to participate first who are going to be the second one and uh, so on um do it in that way but if you think that you can improvise like a conversation you can include the expressions that we have there uh, that's valid too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh? Expression. Uh, one second. <laughs> It's drowsy. It's drowsy. It's drowsy. What is the mean? Um, sentirse somnolienta. <laughs> I write it in the chat box. Sentirse somnolienta. Um. Okay. 
okay. Yeah. If you can, if you want, uh, we can practice the conversation. Okay. Have a sleep. Okay, night. let's start. A sleepless night. A sleepless night. Okay. Hi, how are you? You look so tired. Hi, yes, I am. I couldn't sleep last night. Oh, really? But what's the problem? Uh, my neighbor's dog was barking all night. <laughs> like my, my <laughs> yeah. dog in this moment. Like your... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. Like Just... <laughs> yes. Oh, that's bad. Just to take a power nap. Yes, I will. Thanks for the advice. Okay. Is the, how do you say, queja? Queja. <laughs> Is the queja. <laughs> the complain. Like queja de mi vecino, my neighbor, <laughs> complain. <laughs> complain. Because my, my dog barking all night sometimes. I can use the last the last expression in the in the in the conversation. I can say thanks for the advice because I feel drowsy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. You mm -hmm. you will use we can use expression. two two expressions. Yeah. Yes. In the, uh, in the last sentence. Yes, in the last. Okay. Feel close. Uh, let me check the other ones. This expression is uh, is uh, our new form. Yeah, it, for me too. Cabezadas, not off. <laughs> Uh, not off means like uh, quedarse dormido, like quickly. Ah. Ah, ok. Pero es como cuando te estás, como, como que estás cabeceando, como decimos nosotros. Exactamente. Uh, ah. I didn't know all this Um, what do you say? Sorry, because um, I didn't listen. I didn't know all this expression. Oh, you didn't know? For me. Oh, no. all of them. So what you can do is like try to look for a meaning of each of, of, of the uh, phrases that we have there. And uh, yes. Into your vocabulary, so that that's it. that are, those are useful. Yeah, are very interesting. Okay, uh, welcome back. Um, hello. Hello. So, are you ready? Yes, Adela yes. and me are ready. Okay, very good. Excellent. So, um, I, I give you a little more time than 10 minutes because uh, some of you were asking me for time. Well, um, we're going to start with Miss Adela and and who is your, your partner, Miss? Maritza. Maritza, okay. Uh, with Miss Mira. Um, well. Here I am. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Hello, Adela. How are you? I'm fine. And you? 
not very well because I'm feeling drowsy since yesterday I had uh, I had a sleepless night. Sorry to hear that. I don't have that problem because I always sleep like a lot. Lucky you. I'd like to do just like you and be sound asleep as soon as I hit the bed. Sorry, my dog is crying. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry about your dog. <laughs> what don't is worry. the problem? <laughs> what is the problem because you have a sleepless night? Oh, maybe I drink too much coffee during the day and I never take a power nap during the afternoon. I think you should avoid coffee for a while. Uh, that's a good advice, Adela. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. You did an amazing work. Um, who's gonna be who's gonna be the second one? Okay, who's gonna be the second one? We can participate. Yeah, okay. Miss Pasar. with Miss Peraza. Okay. okay, so go ahead. Yes, okay. Hi, Vanessa, how are you? You look uh, so tired. Hi, Sarai. Yes, I am. I couldn't sleep last night. Oh, really? Uh, what was the problem? My neighbor's dog was barking all night. Oh, that's bad. You should take a power nap. Oh, yes, I will. Thanks for the advice because I feel drowsy. Okay. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay, very good. Excellent. Very good. Um, who's going to be the next one? Okay, who's going to be the next one? Mr. Uh, Moral, eh, perdón, uh, Moran, you ready? Uh, yes, teacher, I was working with Carlos. Okay, Mr. Carlos. Okay. Okay, good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Rafael, how are you? I'm well, you look a little, a little sleepy. Yeah, actually, uh, Rafael, I feel a little drowsy because I haven't uh, sleep enough these days. Oh, that sounds bad. You should try to sleep a little more. Yeah, uh, just uh, this uh, today, I mean, uh, at lunchtime, I was thinking to take a power nap because really I need to sleep like a log. Oh, that sounds great. But you should feel fast asleep in the night if you are tired for the day. Yeah, I usually uh, sleep fast. Um, and, but the, the, the problem is that I haven't had uh, enough time to sleep. I, I've been uh, sleeping around four hours only. Oh, if you are tired, you should not drive because they say that they are people that drive with and they not off while driving and have accidents. Yeah, I, I'm going to take your advice and I'm going to, to uh, travel by bus uh, instead of by car. So what about you? Do you usually sleep well? Yeah, normally I would I sleep well, but when I feel stressed, I turn and toss. I toss and turn my bed for a long time until I could sleep. Oh, it's a good idea to, to leave your, your bed in, in that uh, case, to leave your bed and go to another place, place of your house. So 
so your body can uh, distract and do you, you you can in that case uh, uh, try to to relax and then when you feel a uh, drowsy go back to your bed oh that sounds like a great advice i will try it and uh, see you later carlos oh very good Okay, very good conversation. Very good, and um, congratulations to you guys. Um, well, I think that just one group is missing. Uh, I mean, one pair is missing, and it's uh, Mr. Morales. Hello. Hello. Well, okay, actually, was work. Okay, it's nice. Well, I was working with uh, Maria Galdame, so we start right now. Uh, hello, okay. Maria. How are you? Hi, Isaac. I'm fine. How are you today? Well, actually, I'm really tired right now because yesterday I was uh, working uh, too late, right? And I need to sleep uh, like a lot because yesterday was really hard. Yes, it was. You're right. I've been, I've been a little bit tired uh, since the, the vacations because I was doing a lot of things too. And I'm trying to take an uh, I'm trying to take a power nap during during my lunch break to recover my energy. How do you do to recover your energies this day? Well, actually, I need a, I need a, a power nap at, uh, like you, right? Because uh, I am really tired right now. And well. Actually, I need to 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 hit the sack, right? <laughs> because I, I'm really stressful for the for my job and the things I have to do. But your 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 advice, the things you're saying right now, actually uh, made me take a, a a good idea. I need a power nap right now, and I go to sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> do you usually have problems sleeping after you take a nap? If you take a nap during the day, do you have problems sleeping at night? Well, actually a little bit, but uh, when the things you are saying right now, well, actually <laughs> I get that, 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 uh, the decision to, to get a power nap and uh, oversleep it is possible to have uh, energy tomorrow and wake up with energy with all the powers to, to get my job again and take uh, my job with best energy ever. Okay, I'm I'm just waiting for this class to finish to go to bed because I'm tired now. Well, actually, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I think that it's over. <laughs> okay, that's that's right. Okay, okay, very good, excellent, good conversation. Okay, guys, very good. Um, well, you know that in English, uh, we have something that is called idiomatic expressions. Do you know what is an idiomatic expression? Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Malex, explain hey, it. Uh, idiom is uh, something that you say, uh, it's like a whole expression and you try to say something with that, something like, uh, I don't know, where the things I, I say, uh, uh, let me check, for example, drop up. Uh, no, 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 idiom, idiom. <laughs> idiom. idiom is something like, a, a, for example, uh, water under the bridge. It's something that you have to, to, to go, go right. Oh, something that you need to, 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 you, to, to, to Okay, you gave us a, a good explanation about that, idiomatic expression are that. Um, well, in English, we had like uh, different groups of idiomatic expressions. Um, and as, as we know, the idiomatic expression are phrases that uh, literally mean something, but uh, if we take it as an idiom, means another thing. Uh, we're going to do an activity right now related to this, because um, in English, uh, as I told you at the beginning, we have different groups. We're going to look for idiomatic expressions related to sleep and you are, this is gonna be an, an individual activity. So you are going to um, look for three, four examples of it, of idiomatic expressions. 
you are going to uh, bring me the you're going to bring me the explanation of that idiomatic expression. What does it mean? And also, you are going to use that idiomatic expression in a sentence. Okay, you are going to work on it right now. Uh, I'm asking you around three, four idiomatic expressions. You decide. Uh, if you want to bring more, so it's okay. But uh, the requirements are three idiomatic expressions. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Sure. Okay, very good. You can use reactions. I see that you don't use reactions. If I ask you something like, uh, is it clear, something like that, you can use like the thumbs up or, well, any other any other uh, reactions that you have in Teams. There you have the, the emojis. Oh, I forgot to tell you, when, when you finish or when you complete this activity, uh, please uh, send those idiomatic expressions to the WhatsApp group because uh, those are maybe are helpful for us and we can check it there in the chat, in, in the uh, chat that we have in, in, in WhatsApp. Okay, so you can share it there. Hey, hello, Rachel. Rachel, are you there? Hello. Hey, hello, Rachel. You don't look good. You don't, you, you do you sleep well? No, I had a sleepless night. Oh, so sorry. Tell me why. Uh, because I was thinking of all the work I had to do it the next morning. Okay. But you do a uh, car down because uh, do you uh, sleep all night because you, uh, you are a young? Yes. Um, and, uh, and because of that, I wasn't wide awake during the day. Oh, so sorry. I recommend to you, I recommend to you take a snap and sleep like a log because for the light is the better. Yes, thank you for your recommendation. I maybe in the night I I did that. Okay, Rachel, see you later. Bye bye. Bye.
¿Cómo van, chicos? ¿Ya tienen las oraciones? Ok, Mr. Eh, Morales. Ok, so, go ahead. Okay. Me the first one. Ah, ok. Uh, one minute. Ok. Uh, the first one is, last night I didn't sleep like it went. Oh, ok. What does it mean? Ah, uh, that's mean, uh, let me check. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, it's not to sleep at all. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't know. The sentence? The, the okay. example. I didn't sleep a week. Oh. A week. Uh, well, thank you, sir. Um, okay. Let me see who else, Mr. Vasquez. Ready? Yes, I'm going to read uh, the ones that I find. Okay, I so found. Ahead, sir. Okay, um, wrong side of the bed. Uh, mm -hmm. This phrase uh, is when you you wake up uh, in a bad mood. It refers when when you wake wake up in a bad mood. Uh, another one is uh, hit the, the hay or the example the sentence. Oh, I mean. Uh, it seems you. <laughs> I I I guess I I won't uh, got you, but I'm trying to do the sentence right now. Okay, uh, sir, no it, Take your time. Okay. It seems you you woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, right? Okay, very good. That's a good example. The next one, sir. Okay. Uh, hit the hit the hay or hit the sack. Uh, it says when people say they're about to hit the hay or they are saying uh, they're about to go to bed. Oh. Uh, a. Uh, okay, I'm going to try. Uh, I can go to to with you to watch the movie. Because right now I'm gonna hit the hay. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent. So I think just with two, it's okay, Mr. Vasquez. You did a, a good word, okay? Uh, let me see who else. Miss Peraza, ready? Yes, no? Sorry, teacher, no. Not yet. Okay. Uh, Not let yet. me see, Miss Pastor. Yes, sure. Uh, Ready? The first, yes. The okay. first one in your face. Uh, the meeting is an aggressive confrontation. For example, um, uh, I will tell you the truth in your face. That's okay, but that story. one it's not related to sleep. Do you find any any other uh, idiom related to sleep? Uh, not teacher. Sorry, oh. I, I didn't understand. <laughs> oh, you find just. I idiom. find too. Uh, I find, but not related to sleep. <laughs> oh, okay, Sorry. okay. So uh, we we you can do it. you can look for it if you. I think we have time to to do it. Um, and then you're going to tell us. Uh, let me see who else means Galdames. Ready? Yes, teacher, I have three examples. Okay. Uh, the first one, hit the hay. It means to go to bed in order to sleep. Mm -hmm. My example is, the class is over, I'm hitting the hay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the close. second one, okay. Uh, the second one is sleep tight. It means sleep well. Last night I slept tight. I feel so good today. Okay. And the third one, took someone in, it means put someone in bed. I read a uh, bedtime history to my daughter, and then I took her in. Okay, very good. Excellent. So remember later to uh, share, those, share those idioms uh, in the WhatsApp group. Ms. Mira, you said you want to participate. Yes, I have, I have mine. I think okay. one of them is is repeated because it's okay, the so hit, the sack, 
keep the sackies go to bed. Mm -hmm. And the example, it's been a long day, so I'm gonna hit the sack. Okay. And get off to sleep is managed to fall asleep. Uh, the example, we finally got off to sleep around midnight. Um, I sleep like a baby. It is sleep very deeply and peacefully. I always sleep like a baby when I'm on holiday. And the other one is up at the crack of down is, is get up very early. An example, he gets up at the crack of down and goes for a run before work. Okay, okay, very good, excellent, excellent. You did a good work. Um, well, any other question? Uh, any other question, sorry, <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, any other examples? Yes, sir. I would like, I like, the meaning is, is when someone feels like slept so quickly. Okay, very good. Uh, Miss Peraza? Uh, to lose sleep over someone or something. In What's the, the meaning? meaning is to be worried about something so much that you can sleep. For example, don't lose any sleep over it. I'm sure everything will be fine. Okay, very good. Okay, Another very... example, deep sleep. Uh -huh. The meaning is uh, to sleep really, really well. Okay. For example, when, when, uh, when David is in deep sleep, it is nearly impossible to wake him up. Okay, very good. I okay, very good. So, um, well, good examples, Miss. Um, I haven't listened to Miss uh, Gomez. Hello, teacher. Hello, um, Miss. I have, I have, I have one. Um, staying up all night. It means not being able to fall asleep, usually because one has to work or do something. And also, the reason can be any reason. Mm, it's a similar expression of not sleeping. For example, we stay up all night watching movies with my family. Okay, very good. Well, very good. So you have good examples of it. I will ask you to share those in the WhatsApp group. I have to stop here because uh, we don't have uh, enough time. I want to give you an space. Uh, in order to ask you if you have any question related to um, to the platform, uh, I'm trying to solve the problem that you mentioned yesterday, um, but I haven't uh, received a, a, an answer yet. Uh, so, in the case of the exercises, we're going to focus on it. In the case of the exercises, do you have any questions for me? Uh, that we can solve in these minutes that uh, rest for uh, the, this class. Mr. Vasquez, Ms. Gomez, do you want to? No teacher, I'm fine in that aspect. Okay. No, teacher, I don't have questions. Okay, Mr. Morales, Ms. Garcia, Ms. Peraza. Everything is okay? Is everything is okay? Just give I me have, a thumbs up. I have one, okay. uh, but right now I cannot find it. Which one? Sorry. I have one, but I, I have to look for it because I was doing that. Ah, yes. In the exercise 1.2 1.2 ah, okay give me yeah, a second yeah there is okay. one one of them the number three 
I don't know, but I have written it in all the one, possible okay. forms. We, we're going to see one by one. By one uh, 1. 1.3. This We're going to see, then we are going to see the next one. Please. Okay. So in, in the exercise 1.2, one okay. exercise 1.2, and the question is the number three. Ah, 1.2, exercise three. Okay. Number three, let me see. Ah, oh, okay, uh, I see. Um, in the exercise number three, we have different answers. Uh, what are the, the ones that you have? I have, I have, I don't know, I wrote it in every, every, Possible, but right now I have to visit her parents on the weekends. To visit her parents. She said, Leslie prefers to visit her parents on the weekends. Okay, it's good. Yes, you have a dry miss, and it's a possibility to you in that way. But the thing is, to visit your parents. Okay, the, the thing is that it is a mistake in that sentence. No, not your mistake. It's a mistake of the platform because instead of on, uh, here we have off. Okay, uh, so try to do, try to complete it in that way, like to visit your parents of the weekend. It's a mistake. Uh, let me see. I write. I will write it. Again, everything. Leslie prefers to visit her parents. Her or his? No, her parents. Her parents of the weekends. Yes. It, the, the correct answer is on the weekends. But the system take it as wrong because uh, there is a problem here. So just write off the but weekend. I don't know. I'm writing right. To visit her parents of of double F or one F? No, just one F. One F. Of the week ends. Okay. But it's still wrong. Period at the end. Period. Yes. But we are not supposed to write periods. Mm, but it, I know, but it, it, it's a problem of that platform. No. Well, I will write visiting instead of to visit. To visit her parents, parents of the weekend. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to type it in in the chat in the chat box. Mm -hmm. And just copy and paste. Uh, Mr. Carlos um, has another answer, and, and it's possible to do it that way because we have different options. Visiting your parents on the weekend, that's another possibility. Uh, weekend without S. Yes, weekend without S. of the weekend. Mm -hmm. To visit her parents and of the weekend. To be one, a period. Okay, now it's right. Okay, very good, excellent. What is the next one? <laughs> What's the next one? That's all. I think there was another one, but I don't remember now. Oh, okay. What is it? But if you find it, just let me know there in the WhatsApp group. Okay, guys, time is over. I will see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock again. And uh, if you have any questions, you know how, how where you can find me. So I will be answering as soon as possible. Uh, bye bye. Blessing for you and have a nice time. Thank you. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Good 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 night.
Bye. Bye. Good night.